Let's go. Doing gallery today. So, already started them up. Let's go ahead and copy that IP address. I did a little bit of this already. I don't know when, but we did at one point. So, let's go to CD backpack. See if I already have a gallery in here. No, I do not. Make directory for gallery. CD in the gallery. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of all this other stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and start with an MF scan as usual, right? TAC V TAC, all ports, TAC VV, very verbose, Tommy to four. No DNS lookup, do not ping, and that is not an IP address like right there. So let's try that one more time. That's a flag. Uh, doesn't seem to want to copy the IP address, okay? 10, 10, 140.94. There we go. We got port 80 and 8080 open so far, okay? This last one, 480, was SSH. Just want to make sure it's not. <laughs> okay, even when I copied it, that's weird. Even when I copied it from right here, it didn't take it. Copy. There we go, okay. Weird. Control Shift V. Uh, we'll also go ahead and look at that port 8080. Do an M map. Attack P 8080. Yep. For that guy right there. Click we ourselves with default Apache page. Let's go ahead and make sure that, that is true, that those are actually fact. It looks like it is. Let's go ahead and check out the 8080 also. And we got gallery login.php. All right. Hmm. Admin, admin. Admin password. We tried. That's it for us today. Uh, let's go ahead and try on um, SQL map. SQL map um, for that guy. Oh, forms for that guy. Tac Tac forms. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, just insert whatever you want. Well, that's run. Let's go ahead and do a GoBuster also on him. On port 8080, right? Let's use big.txt for now. That was not right. That is right. Hmm. Not looking injectable like right now. Let's see. Let's try some of our random injects. Oh, that's 100% injectable. What the hell? Okay, so we have SQL injection on here. That username is 100% injectable. Huh. Was it risk five level three? Or was it the other way around? Risk three level five. All right. So we got in this guy. Total level four, total images six, but we can't click on either of those two. Home, albums. Okay, we yeah, we definitely have some albums here. We have avatar, sample images, back to school. Page equals Let's see password. Okay. Doesn't look like anything like right there. Archives. I click on him. Page equals again archives. Uh, permanently do we all okay, nothing in there. Albums. Can we upload something in like let's say avatars? We can. We can do an upload here. I wonder if we could actually upload ID equals, maybe? Okay, nothing in there. Okay. So, there's a lot of noise from the microphone. Oh, there's a lot of noise? One second. 
Sometimes I have to like remute it or like unplug it, turn it back on, things like that. All right, is that any better? Sometimes I just have to pick it up and smash it. One second. All right, is that any better? It's not the best microphone in the world. Probably a little bit of noise coming from. Let me see. Let me turn up my sound. And we'll see. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and drop the gain like a little bit. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and drop the gain like a little bit. There, is that better? There, is that better? I feel like that might be better. I don't know. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and let's try to start looking at this gallery like right here, All right? Um, we might be able to upload something. Now I'm wondering if we could upload whatever the hell we want. So let's go ahead and make a, um, locate um, PHP reverse. Let's go ahead and copy that over to here. And let's go ahead and do a, um, oh, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Let's go ahead and do a uh, nano for PHP reverse shell. Change my IP address right, 10.13.26.184. Whoopsie daisy. And we'll change the port to 4444. Start up a listener. Well, let's actually move PHP vs shell to shell.php and we'll start up a listener for um, port 4444. Okay. And from here, let's go ahead and try to upload that guy. So we're in desktop. Um, try hack me. This guy was called gallery. Okay. Can we do all files? See that works. Okay, image has to be uploaded. How do we click on it? Oh, we get a reverse shell. Okay, cool. So we have a reverse shell now. I think it's the phone interfering. Oh, oh okay. So you can put it. Oh, I have had that before. I have had the phone start to interfere with it and everything like that. One second. Let's put him over here. Bam. There we go. Yeah, I've definitely had, I think it's the power for the phone. I think we're getting some electromagnetic uh, interference. A little bit of EMI. No electrostatic discharge, just interference. A lot better. All right, let's go. Getting somewhere. Um, even though we don't know a password, let's go and try a sudo tech L just in case. All right, nothing in there. Doesn't look like. Uh, let's go ahead and we obviously have somewhere we can log in at. So let's first get a full shell going here, huh? Going cat scripts um i'm gonna change my mic gain back up then a little bit here there we go there we go okay so let's go ahead and look up suid scripts first well full shell let's go ahead and get a full shell going here a full full shell also we're gonna do this the right way all right which python all right which python 3 all right we got python 3 on here so let's go ahead and grab this guy bam all right uh, boom, boom, S T T Y tack A. All right, get our col rows is 20, columns is 85. All right, let's go ahead and get back into him. Okay, export term equals X term. And we'll do a STTY rows is 20, rows of 20, and columns is 85. All right, let's go. So let's go ahead and do a, I'm getting way too excited with this guy, scripts, SUID lookup. We'll grab this like right here. See if we got anything for SUID lookup. Is at usually in there? I feel like at's usually in there. I feel like at is usually in there, right? Yeah, okay, only if we can run with sudo, okay. 
Sudo ping? Is that usually in there? Okay. Huh. Um, let's also see. Oh, yeah, we're actually in the system itself. Huh? That's kind of weird. Seating the home. We have to do some. Um, we have Mike and then Ubuntu. Most likely we'll be looking at Mike here, obviously. CD and Mike. Which I hope I just didn't mess it up because we put in those rows and columns. Let's go ahead and cat that usually not text first. We also have a documents and images. Oh. Okay, let's not go. Wait. It's weird. So now we need to maybe do like a MySQL. Let's try it with just regular root first, okay? Root root. Root tour. Root admin. Root password. Nope, none of those worked. Admin. Admin admin. Admin password. Okay, none of those work like right there. Let's see if uh, maybe we get an SQL server there. Um, so now we got to try to figure out what in the hell. We obviously have to get over to Mike, right? Um, SQL map wasn't really giving us anything, now was it? Anything like that. So, but we got in with, we got in with SQL injection. But now we need to figure out what is going on inside this guy. I'm not gonna be able to do that, am I? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, let's go ahead and CD back into. I think it was Etsy that grabbed that, right? No, it wasn't Etsy. Where was his? Oh, wow. A database in here. Create account.php, config.php. Let's go ahead and cat that config.php like, real quick. Not really seeing anything in here. That we can really look at. My SQL is still running down there. I'm going to leave him running in case he finds something. Um, let's see if he's in a database or maybe user. Okay. Do a lot of helping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can. Shout it out, dude. We can go through the whole thing with you just tell me what to do. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, what should we try next? We already did SUID bitch, right? And we did. Let's go ahead and cat Etsy cron tab. Nothing running as a cron job, it looks like. So that's something. Nothing running as cron jobs right there. That. Let's go ahead and let's throw all limpies on here. Um, locate limpies. Okay. And let's go ahead and make a little server here. Python 3 tech MHP server. MMAP scans fine. Finish up. We'll exit out of there. And let's go ahead and do a cd into home or slash temp i guess you're already in the box not sure how sql map will well if just in case because i don't have the where is it like the um credentials to be able to look at the databases so if he can at least be able to give me a a database you know if he can drop that then i might be able to see the admin or i might be able to see someone else that's on it that's why i'm leaving him, him up and running over here so I might be able to see another hash somebody down there. There was an include classes DB connection. Could was there? Do you want to CD back into var? Well, let me get this guy over here like real quick.
All right, so let's go ahead and uh, cd into slash var www.html. And the real lurk saying in config.php, cd back in the gallery, there was a classes db connection. So it was in config.php, you're saying? Config.php. Okay, require one's class db connection.php. Okay, so we obviously want to, yeah, we're going to have to look at that. Require one's initialize PHP classes. So there are classes in here. Classes. Let's go ahead and see the in classes. And let's go ahead and cat him. Nothing in there. New SQL, this password, this database. Echo cannot connect to database server. DB server initialize PHP. It's going to cat users, just in case. Yeah. No easy wins there. Okay. Let's go ahead and CD back over to temp. Change mode to executable for limpies, and we'll go ahead and run that. Yes, yeah, so I initialized that PHP. We'll take a look at that here in a second. But I feel like DB connection would be the one that we want to look at. I want to actually check out the Ubuntu, I guess. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Config.old, directory.old, backup.py, Python 3, backup. Not seeing anything crazy within the backup files. Dirt out old, I don't really remember ever seeing that, but we'll try something like that. Nothing in there. Okay. Now we see much in there. Let's go ahead and CD back into var wwhtml slash gallery. Right, and we'll look at that uh, initialize.php. All right, gallery user password 321. I wonder if we can MySQL. I wonder if that's the same person. For over here, also. All 
All right, cool. So let's go ahead and go, uh, show databases. Thank you very much. Lurk, the real Lurk. Show databases. We got gallery DB. Use gallery DB. Show tables. Select star from users. Okay, so we have an administrator password. Don't know if that's hashed or not, though. I don't know if that's actually even going to work, like, right there. We try to use that, but I don't know if it's hashed or not, but we could try it. See if we get, I mean, we're already in this guy, though. We're already actually an admin. So is that really anything, like, right there? Unless he did a password reuse, we can always see that. Um, I see the admin. Yeah, so we're already administrator. So that only, hmm, so we already have that like right there. So. I think it's an MD5, but still, it's not really gonna. Still, not really gonna help us out very much, just because we came in as an administrator. Good find, but yeah, we came in as an administrator. Uh, we can try to log out and go back into it, maybe. See if um, this thing changes up at all, but it says that we're already an administrator. Let's go ahead and log out. Let's try that admin. Okay, so that didn't work. So yeah, it is definitely an MD5 or something different. Uh, let's go ahead and cat that login.php, I believe it was. Where's that user's one at? I remember the user.php. Where the heck is that guy at? User. Weird. Is he in classes, I wonder? I remember seeing him. Still don't know where the heck he's at. There he is. Yeah, it's definitely it's MD5. Um, crack station was not able to crack it though, so I don't know if that's going to be the correct way up. Um. I guess we start to look at the different different files. Nothing strange in there. Look at our old ones that we did, you know. I mean, why not? Kernel was vulnerable. We didn't see at least the password reference. We just saw it as it was Oh, no idea. But still, with that, we can only get into the web server there. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not going to be able to get into, be able to change anything in here. Unless that's also the user's password, but I highly doubt it. 
And if we're already in the web server as an admin, and I'll 75 password. I don't know if we have a salt on it or anything like that. Yeah, no salt or anything that doesn't look like it. Um, CD in a bar. Okay, it's one spot to be. Okay. This is a good place to be, it looks like. Spotify, Netflix, and try Hack Me. Alright, we could try something like that. Go ahead and grab these, like right here. That didn't work. Okay, that's, that's alright. Um, let's go ahead and do a nano creds.txt. Let's go ahead and try all those. See if he did a password you reuse. Okay, nope. We'll try this one like right here. Okay, nope. So no password reuse. Um, whoops. Bar backups mic. Oh, we can read that. Bash history, we can read. Looks like he put in his password right here. Best password rocks. That for Mike? Let's go ahead and do a SU in the mic. Okay, let's go! NanoCreds.txt, and now we have Mike Box. Okay. Sudo Tech L, because now we got that now, right? So he can run bin bash at opt rootkit.sh. Go and cd in the slash opt, see what that's actually doing. Cat that rootkit.sh. Read tech EP. Would you like a version check update list and report? So, can we just do like bin bash and just type that in kind of thing? That's kind of what I'm thinking, like right there, right? If we just do like a bin a sudo. Bin bash rootkit.sh. Password for Mike. Cat the creds. Uh, bin bash. He can run bin bash with. Let me see here. Opt rootkit.sh. So we can run this rootkit.sh with bin bash. As root on gallery. Do I have to, tell you, do I have to put in that whole thing? Okay, so we have VirgCheck list update bin nano. And that one is version check. Type type version check. Can we just run this? Bin nano. We 
we just run that thin nano? It's nano in a file, right? So how in the heck can we just run tech tech list root report dot text? Can we run something like that? Nano is root. Yeah, GTFO, but do I do something like, so let's go ahead and GTFO bins. Yeah, I'm looking at the Nano, and let's go ahead. Just, we just do that, like right there. I feel like we can't just do that. I feel like we have to run the file then do that, right? I feel like we'd have to run a file. Does that maybe run this? Yeah, okay, expect an argument. We can. We can run it. We we can run nat. So we can't run nano at, but it expects an argument. Can we like? Maybe we do like a. Read. Okay, read brings us here. Now can we? Just do this. We already nattled into it. Can we just Yeah, so we can read, we get brought it here, right? And then from here, what can we do? Control. Can we just We just try to run this guy because we already have nano. So if we just huh? So we can read and everything. We get into it. Okay, let's see here. We are doing a so now. Okay. I think I think I got figured out. Control R, Control X, Command Execute is going to be the reset. So these guys should be Control R, Control X. Run that, and I am root. Okay. Cat root dot text. There we go. Let's go. Oh, crap. Oh, what's the pa hash password? 
We got that. What is this like right here? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, what's the user's flag? I'm saying you're like, what are you talking about? That's wrong. We still have the user's flag too. Still forgot to get, grab that. Now we're root, we can grab it. Yeah. Still forgot about that. Good old user flag. Let's go ahead and hop back in here. Slash home. CD in the mic. Let's cat that use.txt. Feels good to be getting back on some Linux boxes. Let's go. There we go. All right. Good one. Good one. I like that one. I like it. I'll take it. That was a